D.E. Daniels, Lion's Den Ministries, featuring Reverend Donald E. Daniels, Sr. Preaching God's Word for more than 30 years. Believing that God can transform lives. That those who believe and trust in God can change and have a better day. God will keep him in perfect peace who keep their minds stayed on him. Today's message, what God will do for those who wait. Let's hear Reverend Daniels. Good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you have started your day out well with prayer and supplication, scripture reading. I've learned that how you approach the start of your day determines how your day will be. This morning, I want to leave with you a thought that David had in Psalms number 40. As David said, I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me out of the pit of destruction out of the miry clay and he set my feet upon a rock, making my footsteps firm. He put a new song in my mouth and a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. How blessed, somebody ought to say how blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust. As we have discussed in previous lessons, running with the horses, when Jeremiah, as he is praying, he's asking a question to himself in Jeremiah chapter 12, verse five, he says, how if you, if you have gone with the footsman, and they have tired you out. How then can you compete with the horses? And Jeremiah has gotten antsy because he has looked around him and saw different things going on in the world that he, he just couldn't understand and he decided that he wanted to talk to God about it. We also discussed that Psalms number 139, God knows us. God knows our heart. He knows our thoughts. He even knows our words when they're on the tip of our tongue. And with all of that said, David has prayed. This Psalm is, is not about a prayer that he's praying at the time. This, this Psalm, Psalm number 40, is about David waiting on the answer for his, of his uh, uh, prayer. We don't know what David has prayed for, but David has prayed and he is waiting on an answer. He said, I waited patiently, patiently waiting. In all of our praying and all of our walking with the Lord, we are called to be patient, to wait on God. David earlier in the 27th number of Psalms says, wait, I say, on the Lord. And here he waited patiently, Psalm number 40, and God heard his plea. Many of us, we get antsy. You know that term antsy, where we are full of anxiety, waiting. We get anxiety, antsy, waiting on an answer for a job interview, waiting uh, on the test results for, uh, from our doctor, waiting on test results from school, waiting to uh, know if we have been accepted into something, waiting on a loan, 
I was buying, wanting to buy that car, wanting to buy that home. Entry on what our electric bill will be uh, this month. There are many things that cause us to, uh, to have anxiety. And, but David said, I waited patiently. And in my waiting, he says, God answered my prayer. And in his prayer, or in the answer, God lifted him from whatever situation he was in, he was lifted. He was lifted out of something that was so deep that he found himself stuck and couldn't get out. Many of us, we find ourselves stuck. We think we can't get out. We think that our situation is what it is. You've heard that term, it is what it is. But I just wanna let you know that if you just pray and pray believing, and as Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together touching and agreeing, ask what you will in my name and you will receive it because he says he's there in the midst. I can tell you that God will lift you up. And not only that, he will plant your feet firmly on a solid foundation. And not only that, God will put a new song in your heart where you will say, I once was. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. I once was poor. I once was sad. I once was in a bad situation. I once was homeless. I once was, but now. Everyone ought to have a but situation. One where you can look back now and you can say how far God has brought you. With that said, I want to pray with you and, and know that whatever you're going through, God can lift you up. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, for all of our listeners. We pray that you will bless them, Lord, in whatever they're going through in their life. Bless those who are suffering right now in hospitals, COVID-19. For Lord, just as you healed your servant and my wife, I know you're able to heal them right now in the name of Jesus. We claim that they will rise up from their hospital beds and look back and have as a testimony where you delivered them from. Bless the students in the school. Bless them with total recall. Bless the parents who are worried about their children. Bless families who are separated. Bless husbands. Bless wives. Bless parent and child relationships, bless sibling relationships, bring us all together, God. Bless this country as our country is so confused and divided. We ask you, Lord, that you are the potter and we are the clay. Take the broken pieces and mold them and put them back together again. It's only the great potter can do. God, these blessings we ask and we pray in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and God keep you.